I needed something small enough to fit in a backpack, but yet durable enough to protect my equipment in the field. I found the perfect solution in the OtterBox 3500 series. Measuring 8.8 .8 .8 by 5.1 by 4, it holds most all the compact gear I need, from compact cameras, batteries, to accessories. The inside is lined, as is the top. But the really cool feature is, it says it's waterproof to 100 feet. So guess where we're going next? Super sensitive to water. Two big rocks. Toilet paper on the top. Again, because it's sensitive to water. Make sure this is in the corner here. Everything's in there tight and nice. Latch one, latch two. We have the orange paracord attached to it. Time to throw it in the pool well again. Are we ready? Still floats. So let's pull it in and see what happens. <clears throat> of course, you know, I'm going to have to get in the pool here and sink it to six feet just to see what happens. Which I can't take my video camera to do that, so. Alright, <clears throat> let's open this beast. One, two. Of course, the outside's nice and wet. And inside. Dry. Rock one. Rock two. And dry. Alright, so. I'm going to reload this box. And I'm going to jump in the pool with it. And then we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. So there you have it. It survived my limited tests, taking it to six feet of water. It says it's rated to 100 feet on the back. Uh, I hope I'm never in 100 feet of water by myself. Um, I paid about $24 for it at a local store. And considering that the camera equipment is well into the thousands of dollars, that's definitely a worthy investment. The only upgrade I would do to it is I would put some kind of reflective tape on it. So if it goes overboard, in the river or the ocean or at night you can actually find it other than that it's gonna float see ya bye bye